the approach with with postmortem was I'm a filmmaker who has had a lot of the experiences they had and maybe we can talk on a slightly different level than most interview shows and it's something that can bring out a comfort level that maybe isn't there in a more formalized situation but that we come from the same battlegrounds and we can talk in the same language. Frank Darabont and I came together on, on Fly 2. Uh, we didn't meet during the process of writing it. We met afterwards and like, oh, you're Frank Darabont. Yeah, I, I know who you are. You came on Fly 2 after. I was the first writer on Fly 2. It was interesting to talk to him for, uh, for postmortem about filmmaking and his history and the like because I didn't know this fascinating history of Frank that he talks about at length. You know, where he came from, you know, the refugee camps in, in, in France and, and uh, you know, this background that no wonder he's drawn toward the dark side of storytelling. Incredible yeah. story. It, it is an incredible story. It's actually a story I've always wanted to, to tell, not specific to my parents, but specific to the event because it's so amazing. The thing about postmortem was everybody talked about stuff I'd never heard them talk about in interviews before. And maybe it was because we weren't trying to promote their next movie or, or do a big, you know, talk show style thing, but just have a conversation between people who love this genre and making films within the genre. And because so many of the guys were friends, you start forgetting about there being cameras there. And you don't talk about your careers, you know, you don't talk about what led you to write this and what led you to choose this camera or style or lens or color or what you do. And so this was an opportunity to do that and learn these things. You know, I did not know Rob very well. He was one of the guests on Postmortem who was not somebody I had a long history with and knew a lot about. But I knew he'd be interesting because he was a newer horror director than most of the people we talked to. And I love the combination, you know, the background of rock and roll and horror movies and the perspective he would bring to that. One of the surprising things is how much it's not just a job for all of these people, that these are all people who really care about the genre and are knowledgeable about the genre and love it. And Rob is really knowledgeable. You look at who he casts in his movies in small parts and the like, and you can tell this is a guy who's seen everything and cares about it and loves it. I've learned from every one of those people uh, as filmmakers, including Rob, watching their movies that have an influence on what I do in, in, when I'm making a film.